JC from Craft Life and I'm here today to teach you how to make washcloth bunnies and these are one of my favorite Easter crafts and they are super easy and fun to make and the supplies you'll need to make these are a washcloth and you can use any color washcloth today I'm using a gray one you will need pom-poms one is a half inch Pom pom, and the other is just a small one. And for the nose, I put a small one, and for the tail, I put the half inch one. And you can choose what color you want to make your nose and tail. You will also need Google Eyes, a pipe cleaner, a rubber band, and something that you can use to glue on your parts on your bunny. And so today I'm using a glue gun, but you can use regular glue. And finally, if you want, you can tie a bow around your bunny to cover up the rubber band, like I did on this one. So please get your supplies and we'll begin. To begin, you want to open your washcloth up. And for this part, we will only need the rubber band and the washcloth. And I like to begin at any corner, so I'm just gonna choose this one and I'm going to roll it, but I'm going to roll it tight. You can roll yours loose, but I prefer to roll mine tight. So just roll all the way down. Now we're going to need to fold over our washcloth so that the two open parts are facing the same direction. And I just folded it in half. And now we're going to either flip it over and this is when you determine how you want your ears to look. And if you want them open, you're going to fold it like this so that you have the two open parts facing this way. And if you flip it over and fold it the other way, your ears will be closed like I have done in this bunny. And that's how I will be doing it today in the bunny I am making but you can decide which way you want to fold your ears. So when we are folding our ears, we're just gonna fold them over so they go past the bottom just a little bit. And now we're going to need to secure the head with a rubber band so you can determine how big you wanna make it. And I'm going to make my bunny's head about this big. And now you're going to wrap that rubber band around. Now you can fix up your ears. And I wrapped my rubber band three times. But you can wrap yours as many times as you want. And now we are ready to add the other parts to our bunny. Now we are going to begin to make the whiskers and the nose. And for this you will need to use your pipe cleaner and your small pom-pom. And with your pipe cleaner, you are going to need to cut two pieces that are two inches in length. And we are just going to put them together and we're going to twist them in the center. So we're going to find the center and twist them together. You may need to twist a few times so that you can secure them together. Now we're going to take the whiskers and we're going to glue them into the center of the face. And then we're gonna glue our pom-pom on top of that. So we're going to begin by gluing our whiskers. Now we're going to glue our small pom-pom on top of that. Now once you are done with your nose and your whiskers, you're going to glue on your Google eyes and I'm going to place them right about here, so above the nose. And you're just going to glue these on. Now we're going to glue on the tail. And I'm just going to place mine right on the back, like this. So now we are going to glue it on. Once you have let your glue dry, you are either finished with your bunny or you can add a bow to it. And if you would like to add a bow to yours, all you have to do is wrap your ribbon around your bunny. 
tie it together like this. And then just make a simple bow and you can make your bow as large or as small as you want it to be. And then you can make it smaller and then move it around and you can even cut it so that you can get rid of your strands. But I will not be putting a bow on my bunny. I'm going to leave it as is. And now you are finished. This is what it looks like when it's done. And these bunnies make great gifts and decorations for spring and Easter. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you make some, I'd love to see them. My Instagram is CraftLifeUSA, so please tag me in a photo. And please don't forget to like us on Facebook, put it on Pinterest, and subscribe right here on YouTube. I hope you're living a craft life just like me. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!